Last news out of Florida, pastor could face life in prison after recordings suggest he raped a child. Reverend Brian Fulviter was a Florida pastor. Um, he recently worked as a radio host. He has been charged with 30 counts of sexual battery of a person younger than 18 uh, by, a, by a position of custodial authority. Sorry, I was worried really weird. Um, the victim was 14 when the assaults began. So um, she secretly recorded a phone call between him and her um, where he allegedly did admit to raping her from the time she was 14 to the time um, for, for years, from the time she was 14 to years on. Um, and so the police say they have a ton of evidence and they have their case already made. Um, but everyone around the pastor is you know, denying it, sticking up for him. The pastor himself is denying it. Um, so obviously these are just allegations. We can't say he did do this, but if he did do it, he is facing a uh, life in prison. Yeah. And again, and just, just, to, I say this every time, if you're an atheist, uh, if you're anti-religious, you might be tempted to, without actually looking into anything or seeing any of the evidence saying, of course he did it. He's a pastor. Please don't be like that. Okay. You don't know. You have no idea. Um, it's, even if you think it's likely, uh, even if there's a small chance that he's not guilty, uh, let's, you know, hope that he doesn't go to prison if he's innocent. There, there's always a chance that these people are innocent, even if they're pastor. Don't be, bi don't be, don't let your anti-religion bias get in the way of waiting for evidence before you believe in something. Okay. Um, and yeah, I, I, if he's, if he's guilty. I hope he goes to prison, and if he's not uh, guilty, uh, I hope he doesn't. And oh, please also don't assume, just because there's a lot of reports of pastors molesting children uh, or raping children, please don't assume that every pastor is a potential child molester. That is not... Okay, I mean, I yeah. mean, here's, yeah. here's the thing. The police said that the pastor actually admitted to a sexual relationship that it's, is rape with a 14-year-old. This is a suggest that he raped in the mm -hmm. article it says the police said that he actually admitted he actually admitted to a sexual relationship okay. with a 14 year old so if he did actually admit it and is that recording publicly available i'm not sure about that right because that would be that would be very like imagine if you actually have the admission publicly available and his the people that support him still defending him that shows such a right that was, <laughs> that, you know, that's, that's the power of religion, where you have an actual recording, somebody admitting that they raped a child, and your followers are still like, nope, nope, he's innocent. Anyways, but again, try to, um, and, and one more thing I always mention, uh, don't, the, we do, we have data and statistics that suggest that religious um, leaders, both in Islam and Christianity, uh, molest children on higher than average compared to other people uh, but again judge that because we because we have data or we have very uh, educated guests by people that are experts but not because you are seeing a lot of news articles about it right do not I just have to add this I know I keep repeating that just because you see a lot of news like this don't be like oh if you're a pastor you're more likely uh, to rape children or stuff like that. No, don't ju judge it based on the number of news articles you see. Judge it based on st statistic data or legitimate sources. Uh, did you guys want to add anything? No. No. I just want to also ask, uh, tell uh, you guys are awesome, by the way. Ali, you, the way you summarize the news and show the way you add stuff that we might have missed at the end is so perfect. So you guys are you guys are awesome. It's so great to do this with both of you when we're doing the news. Thanks, Armin. Yeah. You linked me to love. Oh, thank you. Atheists are under attack in many places. If they were Christians, their voices would be heard. If they were Jews, their voices would be heard. If they were Muslims, their voices would be heard. But they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. 
With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.